Good morning. I'm getting ready for work and I have my hair and makeup done and I just wanted to share my outfit of the day before I walk out the door to the Medi Spa. So I have on this 525 sweater that I shared with you last season or the season before. Many of you got it. I have on, I believe this is a free people bralette. I have on my mother jeans, mother jeans. They are, they're called pink lemonade. They have a frayed hem. They're a little lighter than they were because I had to wash them repeatedly. I was working on a spot that I got in the yard when I took Taco out. Also wanted to share my shoes that I have on today. These are my shoes I have on today. These are Marc Jacobs. They're called the Jogger. I'll show you the bottom. They have double laces just at the top. They have this iridescent thing on the side. They come in sizes, I think, there's the size, 39. I got them in a 39. Because I usually wear an eight and a half and a sneaker. And I think they said to size up. There's the raw hem on my jeans. Here's the hair and the makeup for today. I'm going to film a how I style my new shorter hair. I'm going to do that this weekend. So if you want to see that video, you need to subscribe and activate the notification bell so you don't miss it. Y'all have a great day and I'll check you soon. Ta-ta! Donna one of our friends in the comments asked if I would do a video on how I'm styling my hair now. So my hair is wet. I went to Ulta yesterday and I bought some new hair products to try. So it's kind of not true because this is not how I've been uh, styling my hair lately. But I'm going to style my hair like I've been styling lately but with new new products. My hair person, Lainey, uses this in my hair and I've noticed that it does give me more volume. It's called Invisible, it's Paul Mitchell Invisible Wear Volume Whip Humidity Resistance, Resistance, Natural Hold. Uh, it usually volumizing products to me usually makes my hair frizzy, but this does not. So, I don't know whether you're supposed to shake it or not. Directions, shake well, pump into hand, distribute even, okay. So I washed my hair and conditioned it with the Pureology Smooth. And now I'm going to use this Paul Mitchell Invisible Wear Volume Whip. I'm gonna use this much. And I'm gonna start up here at the crown where I like most of my volume. Bring it through the ends. If I notice while I'm blow drying that my hair looks like it's going to the frizzy place, I may add some of my frizz dismiss. But for now, I'm just gonna use this and see what we get. I do want volume. I've been making, I've been styling big hair. I like I like medium length big hair. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna blow dry with a round brush and my Dyson blow dryer. This is the same one that Pat got me for our anniversary about three years ago. And I'll speed this part up so you don't get bored. <laughs> Now that I've dried 
got it. Hold on, let me get these bags straightened out. Now that it's mostly dry, I'm gonna section it. Oh boy, it, it has got some volume. All right. It's humid outside, so I hope I don't regret this. I want it big, but I want it, I don't want it frizzy, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna take another section. style of wilt. All right. Next we're going to style. The first thing I do is I take my flat iron. This one's really, really old. It's probably over 10 years old. Uh, Pat bought it for me in a mall at a kiosk in Charlotte. Uh, I had, I was wearing my hair curly all the time back then. And we walked by and he demonstrated it and he straightened out a piece and it made it completely flat and Pat was sold. So, all right, we're going to begin with the front. I'm going to take this comb and I'm going to section off some hair from the front. Alright, section off some hair from the front. I want it to lay right in front. So I, I hit the roots. All right, I should have gone twice. And I'm letting it cool a little bit, pulling it forward. All right, and take the next little section. All right, so I sectioned off the front a little bit at a time and I flat ironed it and pulled it forward like this and let it cool. So that takes care of the front. Now the back, or we're gonna leave the front alone for a minute. Now the back, I'm going on the bottom. I'm just gonna section it off in pieces like this. I'm going to take my Paul Mitchell curling wand. I always use a curling wand. Well, I use a curling iron on my clients. That's what I carry in my kit. But here at home, I use this. Sometimes when I feel like taking this with me, I will. So I wrap it around. I don't wrap it flat. I let it twist each time it goes around and I let it cool. And 
the first two I wrap. Well, I don't know what I did. I'm wrapping this one away from my right, the right side, away from, I'm doing this this way. And I'm doing, I'm doing this this way. Do I have it turned all the way up? Nope. I don't turn it all the way up. There's two clicks. And I only did one click. And I hold the iron straight down. There we go. What do you do with those funny ends like that? They go like this. Smooth them out. There. All right, move on to the next layer. And pin this on my head. If your hairdo doesn't work out, well, let me ask you, here's one question. Do you do this? Do you section it out and do it organized? Or you just go in there and start curling pieces? Okay, I'm holding it down. Vertical. I may not have curled it enough. I may have left too much out. When I get to the middle of the back of my head, I curl towards the middle of the back of my head. I don't switch directions. get to just above my ears I do something different I take brought starting behind my ear and just above my ear I take a section oh and I bought new new spray this one is body builder and this one is Instant lasting volume and texture. Let's try this one. There we go. Let's get the next one. I think it may only need one squirt. That felt like feels like a lot of product. This is by uh, Living Proof. It's called Body Builder. One blast on the tees. And one blast on the tees. Whoops, that was two. Okay, and then I'm going to come back. It's more, more diagonal now. The direction I'm going in. I don't hold the front as long. On these little front pieces, I don't leave the iron in as long because I don't want to look like Curly Sue. See, like that. Okay, let's take another layer. Uh, behind, I'll wait and get behind my ears. I don't do it in the front. We're teasing our pieces. You stick it in about an inch and a half to two inches above the scalp. Like 
like this and drag down. You keep that tease at the at the roots. And I want to do it, keep it behind my ears. All right. Now, this is kind of in the front, so I'm going to do it quick. This one I'll be a little more intentional with. Okay, I'm on it. I'm on the top layer now. And I'm still doing the same thing. Teasing sections and giving it a blast of spray. And keeping it behind my ears. The tease. Alright. Now let's see if we can pull this over here so I can see. directing and pulling it forward some. All right. Now I'm going to take my fingers in there and pull it out. You may want to let those curls um not you not may want to. You definitely want to let those curls cool before you get in there and start messing with it. Otherwise, that you'll lose your, your curls. Alright. So, I want I want it on the side. A pretty deep side part. Got volume there and there. Break up some of these pieces. All right, I think I can see what I got going on here. It's kind of straight on the ends. Let me see if I can see what's going on back here. The back of my head is really flat, so I'm always fighting against that. So I'm pulling up pieces. The curl is there, it's just hadn't been separated. All right. Get that off my face a little bit like that. Do a really quick curl so I don't burn that delicate hair. So here it is. Um, and here's the back. I'll let you see it. And the first day I after I wash it takes the longest. And then the next three or four days, all I have to do is touch it up. And I do not brush the tees out. I leave it. Anyway, you can take your rat tail comb and lift it up a little bit. 
I hope you enjoyed this and you learned how to have big, big sexy hair and that you, in the comments, let me know what part of this was helpful to you and any questions regarding what products I used or how I styled. Come back again. It's always good to see you in the comments. Ta-ta.